Hi everyone, I'm Shep. And I'm Brittany. And, and this, this is, is the Super, Super Amazing, Amazing Show. Show. Each week we bring you a tip or idea to help you create more super amazing customer experiences. Chef, what are we talking about today? Well, we're going to look at, I believe it's page 164 of your book, uh, Creating Super Fans, and we're going to talk about measurement, how you measure customer service and satisfaction. Yes, and there are a lot of measures. You've probably heard of NPS or Net Promoter Score, CSAT, which is Customer Satisfaction, maybe Earned Growth Rate, EGR. What are some of your favorites, Shep? Well, I mean, you mentioned I love, I love NPS. I'm a huge fan. Uh, the Customer Effort Score uh, is a great one. How easy was it to do business with us? Uh, there's a new one that I've recently learned about, Joe Pine, uh, one of the authors of my all-time favorite book other than yours and <laughs> mine, of course. Uh, no, but seriously, this is a great book, The Experience Economy. Uh, Joe Pine and Jim Gilmore wrote it. But Joe Pine just recently came up with the idea about the time well spent metric. Uh, did your customer feel that the time they spent with you, was it well spent? Well, that says a lot because yeah. are you respecting them or not? Do they feel good about you or not? But you have on page 164 of your wonderful book, Shameless Plug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm doing the plug because it really is a great book. I'll plug it too. I, I'm equally shameless. <laughs> great. Uh, you have an idea that you want to share with everybody. So I, I love all of those all of those metrics. I especially love the time well spent. Something that I've been told uh, oftentimes is people feel disconnected from it. An employee is like, well, what does that have to do with me? There are so many factors playing into this. That's not necessarily about me. So my favorite question to measure customer experience is, was this interaction something that left them better, worse, or the same as before the interaction? Because then it's ownable by everybody on the team. At the end of whether it was a 10 second interaction, a 10 minute or a 10 hour interaction, did you leave that customer better, worse, or the same as you found them? In, in effect, it's managing the moment. Every interaction is an opportunity for that customer to create a, a, an impression of who you are and it needs to be managed. So one more time, I want to hear it so it's crystal clear, three outcomes. Net negative, net positive, or net neutral. And knowing that the overwhelming majority of experiences that all of us have as customers and also in life are neutral, yeah. bringing some intentionality to what are some of those moments that you can elevate from neutral to positive. Because if you do that, your customers will remember. Yes, they will. So great tip, and we will see you next week with another one.